In the annals of UFO lore and conspiracy theories, few stories are as infamous as the Alien Autopsy film that captivated the world in the mid 1990s. This film, purportedly showing the dissection of an alien body recovered from the Roswell UFO crash in 1947, sparked widespread debate and controversy. The tale of the alien autopsy is a fascinating study of media influence, human gullibility, and the enduring allure of the unknown. The emergence of the alien autopsy film. In 1995, British entrepreneur Ray Santilli claimed to have acquired footage of a secret U.S. government autopsy performed on an extraterrestrial being. According to Santilli, the film was shot by a military cameraman shortly after the Roswell incident. The footage, lasting about 17 minutes, showed a group of men in surgical attire methodically dissecting a humanoid figure with large eyes, a bulbous head, and a slight, hairless body. The eerie, grainy black and white film immediately garnered attention. Santilli's film was first broadcast on Fox Television in the United States in August 1995, during a special titled, Alien Autopsy, Fact or Fiction, hosted by actor Jonathan Frakes, known for his role in, Star Trek. The Next Generation, the special drew in millions of viewers and became a cultural phenomenon. The grainy, disturbing images, combined with Frake's dramatic narration, left an indelible mark on the public consciousness. The Initial Reaction The initial reaction to the film was a mix of awe, skepticism, and outright disbelief. Ufologists and paranormal enthusiasts hailed it as the smoking gun that proved the existence of extraterrestrial life and the government's efforts to conceal it. They pointed to the apparent authenticity of the footage, noting the realistic movements of the autopsy subjects and the detailed anatomy of the alien figure. However, many scientists, skeptics, and film experts were quick to raise doubts. Critics argued that the film lacked credible provenance and that the anatomical details of the alien seemed too human-like to be genuine. Forensic pathologists and special effects artists also weighed in, suggesting that the autopsy could easily have been staged using prosthetics and other practical effects techniques. The debate intensifies. As the debate over the film's authenticity intensified, several key figures emerged to offer their perspectives. Philip Mantle, a prominent British UFO researcher, initially supported the film's authenticity but later became one of its most vocal critics. Mantle pointed out numerous inconsistencies in Santilli's story, including the absence of any verifiable documentation or witnesses to corroborate the film's origins. Stanton Friedman, a renowned nuclear physicist and ufologist, was also skeptical. Friedman, who had extensively investigated the Roswell incident, noted that the film's release coincided with a resurgence of interest in the case. He suggested that the timing might be more than coincidental and that the film could be part of a deliberate effort to muddy the waters and discredit serious UFO research. In contrast, filmmaker and special effects artist Stan Winston, known for his work on films like Jurassic Park and The Terminator, offered a professional assessment. Winston believed that while the autopsy footage was impressive, it was not beyond the capabilities of skilled effects artists using 1940s era technology. This view added weight to the argument that the film could be an elaborate hoax. The hoax revealed. The definitive blow to the film's credibility came in 2006 when Ray Santilli admitted that the alien autopsy footage was not entirely genuine. In an interview, Santilli revealed that while the film was based on real footage he had seen, the original material had deteriorated beyond repair. As a result, Santilli and his team decided to recreate the autopsy using actors, props, and special effects. Santilli's admission confirmed the suspicions of many skeptics and underscored the film's status as one of the most elaborate and successful hoaxes in modern history. The revelation also sparked renewed interest in the motivations behind the hoax and the broader implications for the UFO community. The Cultural Impact Despite being debunked, the alien autopsy film left a lasting impact on popular culture. It inspired numerous documentaries, books, and even a feature film, Alien Autopsy, released in 2006, which dramatized the events surrounding the creation and dissemination of the footage. The film's influence extended beyond the realm of UFO enthusiasts, permeating mainstream media and contributing to the ongoing fascination with extraterrestrial life and government conspiracies. The alien autopsy hoax also highlighted the power of media in shaping public perception. 
The film's initial broadcast and the ensuing controversy demonstrated how easily misinformation could spread and how difficult it could be to dispel once entrenched in the public imagination. This phenomenon has only been amplified in the age of the internet and social media, where false information can reach a global audience in seconds. Lessons Learned The alien autopsy saga offers several important lessons for both the UFO community and the public at large. Firstly, it underscores the need for critical thinking and skepticism when evaluating extraordinary claims. The allure of the unknown can often cloud judgment, making it essential to seek out verifiable evidence and credible sources. Secondly, the hoax serves as a cautionary tale about the potential consequences of misinformation. While the alien autopsy film was ultimately exposed as a fabrication, it left a lasting legacy of confusion and mistrust. For those genuinely interested in the search for extraterrestrial life, such hoaxes can undermine serious research efforts and fuel unwarranted skepticism. Lastly, the alien autopsy story is a testament to the enduring human fascination with the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Despite the film's exposure as a hoax, the questions it raised about humanity's place in the universe remain as compelling as ever. The search for answers continues, driven by a blend of scientific inquiry, imaginative speculation, and the timeless allure of the unknown. Conclusion The alien autopsy that fooled the world is a remarkable chapter in the history of UFO lore. It illustrates the powerful intersection of media, culture, and human curiosity and it serves as a poignant reminder of the need for discernment in the face of extraordinary claims. As we continue to explore the cosmos and seek out evidence of extraterrestrial life, the lessons of the alien autopsy hoax remain as relevant as ever, urging us to balance our sense of wonder with a commitment to truth and critical inquiry. Th Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. 